right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend. He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Monster. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the office. Big punch land. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round. And you can see they're really starting to take their toll on the opposition at this point in the fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, big round. 
roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Leg kick. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. Boom! Big jab. Lands a nice one, too. Keep that head moving. Oh! He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the plate. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie here. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, he eats a knee. Back and forth we go. He blocks the shot. Oh! Huge spinning kick! And he caught the kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Head kick. Oh, collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Nice body to run the elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. And there comes the separation now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. And now he's got the tie clinch. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. He's attacking the 
guillotine. There it is. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. of this young fighter. You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Burnley out has come to stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Oh, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight they felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight they got the finish he's such a terrific grappler every time he is on his back he looks for submissions over and over again eventually he found one tonight and got the desired result